Hey, good morning, James. Quick demo video for you for your Starwalker hilt from Etsy. Um, I got this done last night, but I didn't have it in me to make a demo this or last night, really. So just finishing it up this morning, and then hopefully I can get this out in the mail to you today. Uh, this is installed with a CFX. You've got the two illuminated switches that came with the Sabre. So your front one, the one that sticks up just a hair, will be your activation. The back one here will be your auxiliary. Um, I did leave your blade plug in here for now just to show you that it's got some shine through. And then how you get to everything is you just want to unscrew the handle. Okay. Um, I did some things to the CFX board. This is a very snug fit and you have small threads on the handle. So I put some thread grease on it. Um, if it wears out in the future, don't force it. Uh, get some thread grease and put it on there because it's very easy to strip these threads. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they are super tiny. You can see them there. Super tiny. So take care with these with some thread grease if you need to. All right, but we'll put that over off to the side. Um, here is your chassis. So you got your CFX board right here. Um, I used all of the eight LED pads for different things. So pads one through six, I've got some actual onboard LEDs here that all light up. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue. So you'll see that when I light it up here in a second. Um, Pads seven and eight are for the LEDs on your switches. So you can do, you, you've got lots of options there on how to make these uh, react to different things. All right. Um, you've got a removable battery set up here. Uh, just some little greeblies here that I put on the chassis. Uh, it does say Solo Sabres over there for me in Arabesh, uh, Smuggler's Outpost emblem, and then a Smuggler's Outpost 28 millimeter. Uh, this is the elite version of the speaker, fully enclosed, so it sounds really good. All right, now what else? I put a real quartz crystal in your crystal chamber and then uh, some brass greeblies on either side. Now this crystal will spin on you a little bit. I chose not to glue it down because it does have, uh, it's pointed on both ends. It's terminated on both ends. So it, it's held in there very tight. Um, if you don't like the fact that it spins around, let me know, I can glue it down, but it's not going anywhere. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, just let me know what you think about that. All right, so these brass greeblies are actually two greeblies I've got that I had left over from the Veracity Labs crystal chamber for the Magic of Myth Saber. Um, when you put a bigger quartz crystal in those crystal chamber setups, you have to take this bottom piece out. And I've done three or four of them by now, so I had these laying around and they were extra. So that's what I put in here. I modeled them into my chassis, all right, to hold the, the uh, crystal in there. So we'll throw a battery in the sky. I'm gonna turn this light off here. You can see that your illuminated switches are all lit up. So you got a red for your aux or for your power, a blue for your auxiliary. We've got the LEDs on the uh, actual soundboard going off until we hit power. Now your crystal chamber or your crystal lights up very well. You got some nice shine through in your blade plug as well. Auxiliary back here. Right? If we hold it down for blade lockup, you'll see it on the board. You'll see it in your crystal. So your board first. And then your crystal. Again. And we'll turn it off just like that and we'll throw the handle on it. It is a very snug fit, but it all goes together. And I'll turn this light back on. I know the blinkies on the board are hidden when the handle is on, obviously, but I just thought it was pretty cool to have them on there anyway. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll twist this all the way on. You have three chassis retentions on here because everything was so tight. Um, and I'll show you what those three are here in a second. Let me get this on. Uh, because the threads are small, there's quite a few of them, so it takes a moment to uh, screw the handle on, but it's no big deal. All right, so we'll get that nice and tight. You've got a chassis retention right here. And then I, use, I cut this one down a little bit and use that for chassis retention as well as the one on the other side. So a total of three. All right, your blade retention though, is this guy right here. 
not this guy. This holds your PCB in, so you do not want to mess with that one. This guy right here is your blade detention. All right, so we'll loosen that up. Slide your blade plug out. I'll make sure that gets put back into your saber. And then we'll put our blade in. A uh, standard one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. And then we'll lock it down. And we'll go ahead and we will fire this up. Flash on clash. Master bolt deflex is just tapping the auxiliary. Hold down for blade lockup. Now, if you want to change color, hold down aux and twist the saber. Now you can just twist the saber through different colors and pick whatever you like. So if we wanted like a green and we'll hit power. Now we've got a green blade and we've got a green crystal. I'm getting a sound energy critical warning because I need to charge this battery. Uh, this is a brand new test battery. Uh, changing sound fonts is just holding down the auxiliary. Sound bank selection. Up or down with either button. Crystal focus. Crystal focus. When you find one you like, just hold the button down. The saber is super loud. One more. Sound bank selection. Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. Energy critical. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll take the blade out of this guy. We need to loosen it up first. It is a snug fit uh, for a blade. If you have a brand new one, you might want to do a little bit of sanding. Not a big deal, but it, it will require some sanding. I haven't sanded this too much, um, and it's fitting in here super tough. All right, so I'll put your blade plug back in here, tighten it down. And then uh, we'll go over taking the battery out, which is easy to do. Although CFX does have a deep sleep mode, so you could leave it in there if you wish. And eventually all this would turn off on you. But we'll go ahead and unscrew the handle. From the positive side of the battery over here by the speaker, you should be able to pop it out with your finger just like that. No problem. Um, and that is basically your Starwalker lightsaber. I hope you liked the way it came out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If not, uh, I will package this guy up and get it out to you in the mail today. All right. Thanks, man.